Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Blue Mana Banana and this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. You might hear that my voice is a bit uh, bit off. Yeah, that's because I I caught a slight cold. You know, air conditioning and stuff. That's what happens sometimes when it's hot and uh, yeah. Well, I'm back in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, as you might know in the last episode I died. But then I went on and uh, kind of played the game on my own. I found some quests and I thought they're kind of interesting and so, well, I'm back here and trying will try to uh, show you what I found. Uh, please keep in mind this is an alpha version. I know I say this a lot, but um, just in case someone doesn't really understand that this isn't an elf, a, well, a finished game, and it's like, oh my god, this game is so crappy, why are you playing this? There's so many bugs. Well, that's because it isn't finished. Please, keep this in mind. It is not finished. Okay. Since I stressed this enough, I'm gonna talk to this guy. That's the bailiff. That's, I guess, some kind of, you know, more or less a chieftain of this this small village or the um, you know a mayor or something like that. So let's talk to him. Where's that smoke in the horizon coming from? I wish I knew. It looks like the Corbin's estate. Would you go and have a look there? Just see what's happening and then come back to me. All right. I'll let you know if I find out anything. All right. So um, well, we already found out in the last episode. So um, yeah. We know that this was uh, kind of an attack and stuff like that. Um, so let's ask him if there's anything else he needs. So, anything else? No, anything else uh, going on? A bailiff's lot is not a happy one, you know. Everybody's problems come down on my head, and my problems on my head too. Hmm, well, a private problem. As you might notice, uh, this doesn't have a li uh, lip synchronization and or a, well, synchronization itself. So, or voice acting. So that that's something that needs to be done or something. But it's an alpha version, yeah? So Can I help you? Now I think of it. Actually, you can. But it's a private matter. You have to promise to keep it to yourself. Well, sure. sure. I'll be quiet as the grave. What's up? Well, I had a little drink with our merchant. I'm no drunk, let's get that clear. But naturally, one has an obligation to toast a successful deal. Naturally. And this morning, I woke up on the porch and, uh, somehow my keys were missing. Do you want me to go looking for your keys? The main thing is I have to get into my house and my trunk. Oh, well... That sounds interesting, so let's let's ask him a bit more about this uh, drunken adventure. Ask. Alright, so where did he where have his keys, keys anyways? On a chain around my neck. I carry them everywhere with me. They're a sort of mark of office, you see. Hmm. That's, that's bad to lose them, right? So let's ask him what he remembers. I don't think he remembers a lot, because, you know, drunken adventures What's and stuff like that. the last thing you remember? The last thing... Hmm. I recollect sitting with the merchant in the tavern and, uh, celebrating that deal. And then? Then it's a bit fuzzy. I woke up soaked to the skin at home on the porch where my wife dragged me. She wasn't too happy, I suppose. You bet. And when she found out I didn't have my key, she gave me hellfire. Oh, yeah, well, I understand that. But, um, did where did she find you, actually? Where she found you? To tell the truth, I didn't have the courage to ask her. Uh-huh. Tch, pussy. Well, let's... He could, of course, go to the blacksmith. Um, I don't know if I talked to him on screen, but um, the blacksmith is also kind of the locksmith around here. And if you ask him about breaking some locks, he... that That's obviously pretty suspicious, right? So he doesn't like that. Uh, it's actually not, not even... It's not, not uh, well... What I was what I was about to say? All the questions aren't that inf informative. No, informative. No, no whatever. Questions. That's all then. I I don't need to know more. The the rest is 
Meh. Uh, so let's help him with it. So let's end the dialogue right here. I know he has another quest, but um, I do think that it kind of bugs out if you take too many quests at once. That was. I I don't know if this is the, is uh, if this is the case, but um, well, yeah. Let's ask his wife about the keys, of course. Keys and I need to know something. Indeed, he sends a boy in his place. The chicken shit. Ask away then. Hmm. Where did you find your husband? Don't remind me. I found that fool on the footbridge. The merchant tried to bring him home, but the two of them were hammered. And did he have the keys then? I don't know. Probably not, though. That would mean the merchant had taken them. And I don't know why he'd do that. Um, well... Uh, she doesn't like if I ask her why they are locked out. I need to know. Thanks. So it's pretty obvious that um, we have no two options, right? Well, we have a lot more options too, but still. He's, she said that uh, she found him at the footbridge. But um, there's also something that you... Well, that we could do. And uh, that's pick the lock. Because, well, we're that kind of person. You know, always helpful. And, um, you know, I kind of got a bit better in the um, lockpicking minigame, as you can see. Doors open. Yeah, see? And, uh, of course, the quest also tells us to open his chest over here. So the thing about this lockpicking minigame is it's kind of interesting. Uh, they said it's kind of an iteration of the Thief game, the, the newest, the latest one. Um, you kind of have to find this spot where the this ball is, uh, well, biggest. And then you have to kind of drag a mouse around and kind of keep it always in the same relative spot or something like that. That's how I kind of, well, in interpret it. It could, of course, take his money. Well. <laughs> do, 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 do. There's nothing to see here. I'm gonna take his money. Uh oh, I kinda gotta show you the other uh quest item I guess. Um item info. Oh, interesting, it's on Z, not on Y. Or Z. Uh it says Y here, but uh, it's switched around. As you can see this per um this person possess possession of the seal is in type type to be the bailiff. Yes, that's that's why he needs this. That's kind of like the document for him to, well, that everybody knows he's the chief here. Well, we're pretty close to the door, and that's strange. Well, let's have a look around if there's anything else to be stolen. Uh, I mean, uh, to borrow. Of course, you just borrow this stuff for an infinite amount of time without asking the owner. Which kind of is stealing, but, um, you know, stealing is such an ugly word. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it, so, well, close the door again, and uh, let's move out. I had a really interesting bug when I played this on my own lately. Hmm, that was not really the handle, huh? Uh, and I unlocked the door and um, did a lot of stuff. Uh, went to sleep, and when I came back, the bailiff was standing right in front of his door and hammering it and trying to open uh, to open it and stuff like that. I was like, why? I, I unlocked it. But when I went over here and looked, took take a look, or took a look, it was like locked. And um, I'm really Idiot. curious how he that did that. Ass. I wouldn't mind giving him What? I unlocked it. Look, it's open. You can go back into your house. Okay, well, I can't tell you. Uh, well, I'll tell him though. Or maybe, you know, I'll let him I'll let it uh I'll wait, I'll wait a bit. I'll try to get his keys. So, what we know is that um, he kind of fell in the, fell in this uh, little, well, pool here. Um, so let's, let's see, is there anything in this water? I don't really think so. 
but the fisherman, right? So let's ask the fisherman if, if he knows something. I actually looked around all of this, but there is nothing. So, so how's, it going? how's the fisherman? Uh, it's going well enough, but I've got nobody to go to the tavern with. Well, what so happened? How come you can't get to the inn? I used to go with Jerry, but he got such a nasty dose to the shits he can't even walk. Wow, that that sucks. That's by the way another quest. How did Jerry get poisoned? Jerry reckons he ate something bad from the tavern. And did he? We had some grubs. So what? I suppose it's possible, but what do I know? So both of you ate then. Well, I don't know if we both did on that particular evening. These evenings get blurred together the way they're all the same. Yeah, sure. Well, another few things that we could do. Try to remember. I'm trying to help Jerry. I haven't a clue, boy. But does it matter to you what I ate? Shouldn't you be more interested in Mariana? Come on, now. Hmm. You surely remember when you were there last. Did anything unusual happen that would remind you? Hmm. When I think about it, oh, we succeeded. That night Jerry, Jerry fought with Mariana. I don't think I ate anything. Ah, fighting, eh? That, that's by the way, as another quest, as I said, um, it's about this farmer Jerry and uh, Mariana, the well tavern owner, the inn owner, the innkeeper, and uh, they kind of had uh, this falling out and uh, Jerry now has a bit of diarrhea just a tiny little you know and he kind of accuses her of poisoning him and stuff like that so let's and we have to find out what would really happened and tell the bailiff so but let's ask again an argument what happened how should I know something trivial I'm not their bloody nanny Oh, come on, tell me. We both know. If there was something trivial, you'd tell me what it was. So, if you won't, it means that there is something between them. Well, all right, then. There was something between them. Jerry liked her. He said something to her, and, and she went mad. I don't know any more about it. I didn't hear what they said to each other. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sounds fishy. And no pun intended, since he's the fisherman, right? I'd like to believe you, but I can't get my head around why you keep trying to convince me that someone was flirting with Jerry and he behaved like a perfect husband. That really doesn't make much sense. Shit. You're a smart one. Uh, yeah, you're right. Jerry wanted it. Wanted what? With the shagger, of course. Are you surprised? You've seen what Jerry looks like. If you weren't so cocky, Maybe you'd live to see the day when the lap will be on you instead. And what then? What do you think? They, they had a row. And how was it with the food? What did you eat? Oh, what do I know? Jerry had some meat. Hmm. That fits. Thanks. Well, uh, as you can see, that's some, well, situations where the uh, persuasion actually works. Let's talk to him again because I... My, ah, damn it. Okay, well, I can't really talk to him about the keys at the moment. I think I have to do something else. It kind of reminds me of this old, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, point and click adventures where you have to solve some clues and f go there and find some stuff and then talk to another person and tell him that he, what you uh, what you found and then go back to him and kind of because you know that he's lying and stuff like that. You know, let's talk to the merchant because. Um, he was the other guy that, well, that he was the guy that uh, the bailiff was drinking with, so... Welcome to my shop. Let's... Yeah, so, let's I see. you and bailiff were making merry. And how? My head is still aching. Uh, what's it to you? Well, see, the bailiff lost something, and I'm kind of... He is a bit, you know, uh, dizzy too, so... I'm, I'm out from looking for it. And I'm trying to find it. What's it to do with me? His wife found him in the morning, and I'm wondering where the two of you were beforehand. Aren't you a bit nosy? I don't think the bailiff would be too happy about me telling everyone I meet. Well, actually, the bailiff um, kind of told me that uh, I should come the over and look for it, so... ...gave me the task of finding a certain thing he lost that night. So? So, he trusts me, and you should trust me too. You could be right. Very well. 
It was like this. We were at the tavern, but the booze wasn't much good, so we decided to go for something better. We took a flask of schnapps for the road, and what can I tell you? We'd already had a few shots, and we should have left it at that. You see, hmm. as we went out, the bailiff fell off the bridge straight into the creek. <laughs> and before I knew it, both of us were splashing about in the water. It's all a bit fuzzy after that. I remember the bailiff wanted to sleep, so he lay down next to the creek. I sat further on by a tree to get my head together, and of course I dozed off. It was the sun that woke me up. I got up right away, and what do I see but the bailiff sitting there where he fell asleep, but painted all over with charcoal and wreaths of nettles on his head. So I picked him up, and we went on. Huh. Well, that sounds kind of intriguing, right? And also, look at his huge biceps. So it's even it's so big that it's clips through his shirt. That's if anyone has a goal when he goes to the gym, that's it. Have a have a biceps that big that it clips through a through a shirt. That's that's what you need to do. So let's ask him if he did that actually. Was it you that did that by any chance? I was really in no condition to weave a wreath from nettles. Well, I kind of believe him. So let's ask him if he had his keys you know at this time. Everything? Sorry, but I really didn't search him. Actually that's a smart answer. Not like Well, of course you had everything, or no no, I yeah, now that you say it, I think he missed his keys, was missing his keys. Uh, well, of course, why, why would he know? Did anyone else go with you? Now and again I saw the bailiff double, but I'm pretty sure it was just the two of us. <laughs> well, Fine. thanks. Thanks for the story. Jesus, don't tell anyone that. Don't worry, you can rely on me. Well, we'll we're, see about that. But now we know that they kind of fell in the creek and... Um, you know, a wreath of nettles. Oh, that sounds a bit intriguing. Let's let's ask the bailiff about that. Uh, about those lost keys of yours. Speak up. Oh well, I'm still on it. Uh, okay, nothing new. Well, I don't want to tell him that I opened the chest because I took the money. Um, <clears throat> yeah. That's how I wrote. Oh, wait a second. No, no, that's not the guy, is it? No, it's not. Because there is a guy wandering around here that had a shooting range. Well, that's what he says. Uh, that doesn't or didn't make any money, so he closed it down and he's selling a bow. And it, I think it's 30, uh, well, Groshen, Grosh, Groshen or something, to buy it. And I usually don't have the money for it, but now I have it and I wanted to try that. Huh, interesting. So the thing is, now you would kind of run around here and be like, ah, what the hell happened? Um, I don't find anything here. Well, um, I kind of know where I have to go now. And interestingly enough, I kind of had... Um, not really, I, I, I don't have any help. I didn't have any help with, with this. I was just by pure chance, I kind of was following down uh, this, this little creek. And um, interestingly enough, it leads directly to the alchemy shack or the herb woman or whatever. And yeah, well, turns out she was the one who painted the bailiff all black. Uh, usually there, there's a dialogue with a fisherman that kind of tells you where to a, a bit well tells you where to go so let's see did you see two revelers from Samopesh here recently I did not lad all right I yeah know. yeah yeah just because I didn't see them doesn't mean I didn't hear them those hooligans were shouting and cursing here in the middle of the night they called me an old hag a whore of Satan and even worse well, so you didn't see where they went? When I pulled myself together and came out, they were already gone. Yeah, sure. Did you talk to them? Ah, not exactly. More like I swore at them a bit. 
roaring in the night like that. Well, the bailiff was found with a nettle wreath on his head. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that. I wove it for him so whoever found him would laugh at him. I came across him in the morning, lying in the creek like a pig in a mire, and he stank like one too. All right, all right. You wouldn't know by any chance what happened to the keys he had around his neck. Indeed, I do. I took them from him. Uh, you know that's stealing and stuff like that. But uh, let's let's ask her about uh, the keys. I need the them. Is looking for those keys, so I need you to give them back to him. Well, I need to sleep now and again. But you know what? I'll give him the keys if he comes to apologize in person. Well. You really couldn't come up with anything tougher than that. Well, you sell herbs? Yes, boy. Medicinal herbs, potions, everything wise Mother Nature has given us. Great. So, she's the herb woman, blah, blah, blah. She's pretty potioning thingy and she's a dirty old hag. Stupid shrew. Man. Uh, it's, yeah. To be honest, I don't like this. I don't like her. I really don't. As a character in game, of course. Uh, she's very, very well made, and um, even though I like, I like the the voice acting of her. Actually, it's pretty good. So, we now know where the keys are, and now we're going to tell the bailiff or some kind of mayor of the town where to get his keys back, and <laughs> that's the that's the first quest that I actually completed here. Uh, the fun thing about this, um, <laughs> when I played last time, I kind of ran around uh, looking for quests and stuff, and um, well, I don't know, I could, I, I, all, I always came to like the later stages of quest, but when it was about to turn them in because I finished everything, uh, it bugged out. <laughs> well, that happened. So I found, found your keys. You. Whew. What a relief. There's a catch. I found the keys, but someone else has them. The herb woman. She found you in the creek in the morning and wanted to teach you a lesson. What? I wouldn't trust that old crone with anything. Wait. She's willing to give them back to you, but she wants you to come and apologize to her in person. What? Not a chance. Are you mad? Well, to be honest, you can he kind of dis nah, well, not really. To be honest, she's a she's a bitch. She yeah, is she is. A nasty bitch. You're right about that, bailiff. The folk in the village say she's a terrible gossip as well. Bah. That's what I'm always saying. That old bag is nothing but trouble. Imagine though how she'll spread it around. If I was in your shoes, I'd apologize to her, just for appearances, mind you, to keep her off your back. Bah. Folk know well enough half of what she says is made hmm. up. No one will believe her. Damn it. Alright, then let's push him around a bit. Don't apologize to the old woman. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You should be setting people an example. Have you forgotten who you're talking to, lad? I have not. And don't you forget I can tell everyone in the village of Fine Yarn about how the drunken bailiff fell in the creek and the old crone got the better of him. Alright. If there's no other way, <laughs> I'll go and see her then. At any rate, thanks for your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd sleep on straw till winter. There's a little something for your troubles. Thanks. Why, thank you. So the fun thing is you can ask him, so what about the herb woman? Um, and I I try not to do that because I there is uh, something that I need to do and need to try if it's bugged still. So if, if you ask him about what about the herb woman, he says, well, I wasn't there yet, because you ask him if he got his keys and if he apologizes, he says he wasn't there yet. And in the last episode, last episode, sorry, in between episodes, of course, I um, kind of went to the herb woman with this guy. I, I was there because of the uh, wounded soldier quest that you might know. And um, I was, ah, no, I think he's, he's going over there now. And um, since we're 24 minutes in... I might cut to I might cut to that. So I'm gonna gonna show you what's what's happening. So he's he's going over there 
He's gonna apologize to the herb woman, get his keys, and then he got back and was still sitting on the porch here. And uh, if you ask him, what about your keys? He's saying, I wasn't there yet, even though he specifically was there. And that's that's pretty pretty interesting. Um, well, kind of kind of bugged. Um, to be honest, it's it's not that great. So uh, let's let's cut the episode right here. Next time we're going to investigate uh, the diarrhea of Jerry, and I think that makes for a good name of, for the next episode too. So, yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope to see you next time, and as always, auf Wiedersehen.